Hey guys, welcome back to The Dangen. On today's episode, we're gonna mount the new BenQ X3000 to the ceiling. Stick around. Hey everybody, welcome back to The Dangen. I've had a few questions since my last video was posted with the X3000 from BenQ, and most of those questions revolved around, am I going to mount the projector? And the answer to that is yes. So on today's video, I wanted to show you a quick little time lapse of how I mounted the X3000. I'm actually gonna leave the projector that I have up there right now, which is the BenQ TK700. Um, and then what I'm going to do is side-by-side -side comparisons of both of those units. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video um, and it's informational. And if you have any more questions, just let me know. Thanks and stick around. All right, guys. Thanks again for joining me here. I wanted to show you the first quick steps and the tools that I'm going to use in today's installation. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is make sure that you find a mount uh, that's going to work best for the projector that you're hanging. In this case, if you're hanging a BenQ projector or an X3000 in particular, I found a pretty decent mount. It is a universal mount. It's not only for the X3000. It is a, uh, a universal 12-inch mount from a company called Vantage Point. Uh, I'll post their, uh, their information in the description below of this video. And really what this mount is is uh, it allows you to connect three different mounting points, which the BenQ has, and slide them as an adjustability feature, left, right, up, down, back, forward. It also comes with either a 3-inch mount or like a 6-inch or even a 12-inch mount, so it can hang the projector from the ceiling quite low, or you can get it pretty close to the top. Now, with this projector being as big as it is, uh, it's going to hang down pretty low naturally, so I'm just going to go with the 3-inch mount. Uh, I used this originally when I had the X1300i mounted, so we'll reuse this. It's a good, uh, real solid, um, all-metal uh, projector mount. Um, the next thing that you're going to want to use is a stud finder. Now what you're going to do with your stud finder yeah, just like it says, you're going to go along your ceiling or your wall where you're mounting your projector and you're going to find the most uh, suitable spot to put lag bolts into your ceiling or into the wall. So you're going to want to find studs, have heavily stable wood pieces that run within your wall. Um, this will come in handy when marking those areas. I, um, I typically don't draw on the drywall or the ceiling. Uh, I put tape up and this is just painter's tape. Uh, you can draw right on it, and then when you're done mounting, you can remove it very easily, and it doesn't tear off any paint. Definitely make sure you wear safety equipment. Eyeglasses and gloves are highly recommended. Um, just make sure you don't get any drywall dust or uh, wood pieces from the ceiling from where you're mounting it into your eyes. Keep those babies safe. Measuring tape is important, obviously, to get your distances correct. And a level. It's always good to find out where your projector is on the uh, horizontal plane. So just make sure that you understand its level, your screen's level, things like that. Definitely use some type of um, drawing utensil. So if you're going to mark lines on your wall or on the tape, this is going to come in handy. You're going to need it. The main tool that I've used as of late when mounting different projectors is this level. And what this is, is this is a triple laser level. So it has three axes, one that's going horizontal, one that's vertical, and one that's going side to side. This thing uh, emits a green light. I don't know if you can see it in the picture, maybe behind me. And once it's level, it stops blinking. Um, I can't get it to do it right now, but ultimately you'll see this in the video. And finally, you're going to want a good drill and a good set of drill bits. I just use these DeWalt ones uh, that I got off of the, the internet. I think it was Amazon. Uh, they seem to work great. 
They go through wood, metal, you name it, the drill itself, uh, and the different uh, tools that I use here, I'll post in the description below as well. And then an impact, and the reason that I recommend using an impact is because if you're gonna put lag bolts into your ceiling into studs of you know wood, this is gonna require a little bit extra torque. And if you're already up there um, working in a difficult position, it's gonna be much easier to, to put these in, these lag bolts into the ceiling with a tool like this. All right, let's get to the install. All right, guys, so the next step, this can go one of two ways. Um, in this case, I already have a projector mounted and it's already lined up for this white Akia screens, 120 inch screen as it is. Now, the, the thing you typically wanna do if you're installing a projector for the first time is you wanna mount the projector in the location that you want and make sure you display a test pattern on your wall. And then subsequently what you do is you mount your screen second to follow the pattern that the projector is outputting onto your wall. Now, I have already done that with the BenQ TK700, and since I wanna run these projectors at the same time, I'm gonna actually use the current screen in its current position so I don't have to remove or make any adjustments to the, the TK700 that's up there. So what I'm gonna be doing is fitting, to the best of my ability, the X3000 to the exact same position that this screen is for the TK700. So it's a little bit backwards, but it is my scenario and that's what people ask to see. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna find the exact center point to this screen with my laser level. And with that, I'll be able to tell running along the ceiling where I need the lens to be fixed on the X3000 so I know where to mount the projector. Okay guys, this is what I wanna show you next. So right now I have the, the laser level sent to a vertical mode, right? So what it's doing is it's outputting a line down my projector screen, and then it's running it all the way across the ceiling back to where the current projector is. And what this is doing is this is giving me a line to where I wanna mount the next projector. So the X3000 right here is gonna get mounted up here, but I want the lens to follow this green line to the center of the projector screen. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to align this laser level to the exact center point of the screen. Okay, so I have a center point already marked here on my screen and it's about four inches to the right of where the laser level is right now. So let's go ahead and get that adjusted in this, into place. And once we get it stopped blinking, that's the center of the screen. So now what we're going to do, that we have this marked and this lined up, we're gonna pick a spot on the ceiling here where the projector will hit this line. And that's where we want the lens to be. So the lens on the projector will follow this green line when we mount it.
All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, like I said, it was a time lapse, so I couldn't explain everything in detail only because I was working here, you know, in the dungeon by myself. But um, things went pretty smooth. Honestly, get your laser level lined up. Make sure you find your studs and drill into the ceiling. Once you get that done, ultimately, you get a finished product like this. Um, of course, it's going to require some minor adjustments as it begins to settle. Uh, that's kind of part of how this works with projectors, unless you you know have a shelf or something like that that's always set up. But uh, I'm going to run dual projectors for a little bit. I have no idea you know why, other than to uh, compare the two. But uh, shout out to Ben Q for giving me a chance with the X3000. Um, it's super bright. It's a super nice projector. Check out the link to it in the uh, in the section below. Make sure you guys hit, hit that like and subscribe. If you have any questions, make sure you leave those in the comments. And I will talk to you guys next time. Thanks for joining me here at the Dangin.